OK, so question 9. The equation k plus 3 times x squared plus 6x plus k equals 5, where k is a constant, has two distinct real solutions for x. Part A show that k satisfies k squared minus 2k minus 24 is less than 0. OK, so the key to this question is this information here, where it says that it has two distinct real solutions for x. That means that the discriminant b squared minus 4ac must be greater than 0 because it's got two distinct real solutions. So the first part, we need to show that k satisfies this. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite the equation um, equal to 0. So we get k plus 3 times x squared plus 6x plus k minus 5 equals 0. So k plus 3 is going to be the coefficient a, the positive 6 is going to be the coefficient b, and the k minus 5 is going to be the coefficient c. So b squared, 6 squared minus 4 times a is k plus 3, and c is k minus 5. And this has got to be greater than 0, because we've got two real roots. So 6 squared is 36, minus k times k is k squared, times negative 4. So subtract 4k squared k times negative 5 and then 3 times k is going to give me negative 2k multiply that by negative 4 it's going to give me a positive 8k and then we get 3 times negative 5 is going to give me negative 15 times that by 4 we're going to get a positive 60 that must be greater than 0 now we're just going to tidy things up so I'm going to write these in uh, descending powers of, X, uh, of k. So minus 4k squared plus 8k. And the 36 and the 60 adds together to give us 96. That must be greater than 0. And now what we're going to do is divide everything by negative 4. So we get k squared minus 2k minus 20. 4 must be, and because we're dividing by a negative number, we've got to remember to change the inequality, must be less than 0. So k squared minus 2k minus 24 is less than 0, and that was exactly that what we were trying to show. And part b, we need to find the set of possible values for k. In other words, we're going to have to solve this inequality. So part b, k squared minus 2k minus 24 is less than 0. So we're going to factorise this. It's like a quadratic. So we'll have k. And let's see. Um, 6 and 4 we can add to make the 2. So minus k minus 6 and k plus 4. We factorise that. Must be less than 0. In fact, I'm going to write it equal to 0 just to begin with to get the critical values. Equals 0. So that means that k equals 6, or k equals negative 4. So that's the critical values. Now, in order to determine whether it's less than or equal than, what we're going to do is a quick sketch over here. So it's going to be a quadratic of sorts. The roots are 6 and negative 4. So we get 6 here, negative 4. It's a positive quadratic, which means it's a U-shape. So it's going to look something like this. And now what we're going to do is highlight the region where the graph is less than 0. So what values of K will make it less than 0? All these values here. So that means that K must be less than 6 but k must be greater than negative 4. So minus 4 is less than k, which is less than 6.